Hi everyone, I'm Miss Barbara. Hi Miss Barbara, I'm Miss Janae. And I'm Miss Janae. EJ's back for his second appearance. Here he is. Aww. Hi EJ. Oh my gosh, he's looking right at the camera. He's very photogenic. Don't so fall. Yeah. Hi. Yes, yeah, so he's got three brothers and sisters and one of them is getting adopted, Dora. So we're having a little bit of luck. We're trying to adopt one or two more. But my mom wants to keep him. She she can't let him go. He's too cute. <laughs> He's a member of our cat of our family, our very big cat family. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So so. All right. So we are going to go ahead and light the candle that represents mm -hmm. God's presence in our lives always. And I'm going to put it right here next to me. And you can't see it, but it'll be burning throughout our entire life lesson. Um, and let's go ahead and open up in prayer. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together again today uh, to hear your word and to hear your message. Open our hearts and open our minds as we talk today about rejecting fear and embracing our talents and putting our talents to, to use, to good use. Um, let us know what it is that you, that, that you would have us know about this, about how to serve you with our talents and how to be confident that you walk along in this journey called life with us every step of the way. Um, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Okay. So last week we talked about Jesus um, and his, his parable, that story he told about the 10 bridesmaids and how they had extra oil. It was all a story about being prepared. So Jesus this week has another parable um, about talents. And it, believe it or not, back in the biblical times, talent, well, when we hear the word talent, we think of a special skill or ability you have. In the ancient times, talent was a unit of measurement, and it was used to measure something very heavy. It could be gold, it could be money, it could be wood. So uh, talent was something people carried around with them. Uh, and in Jesus' story, he tells of a master, a property owner, who has three servants. And when he goes away for a little while, he leaves a talent of gold with each of them, a different Amount. So the first servant gets three talents of gold, the second servant gets two talents, and the third servant just gets one talent. This is still a lot of money. Well, a talent weighs about 70 pounds or so, so each one got a lot of gold. Uh, and he said, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to go away and I'll be back in a few months. And when the, the master returns, he finds the first two servants doubled their talents. They invested it in property and actually made more money for him. They had more money to give back to him when he came back. The third servant with only one talent, he was fearful. He was afraid of this money or the gold being stolen. So he buried it in the ground. He dug a hole and he buried it. Um, and when the master found out about that, he was angry. He's like, what is the matter with you? you you're, you're worthless. I mean, it's not a nice thing to say, but he's like, you didn't, you did me no good. There was, there was no purpose in you burying that gold, and he fired him. He got rid of him. Um, so Jesus tells this story basically because it, it illustrates the idea that when we have something, we need to use it. We need to use it to the fullest extent, and we can't let fear dictate what we do with something. Um, so this means in our time, just like they had gold, we each have a wealth of possibilities inside of us. Uh, we all have things that we can do, special skills and abilities that we can use. So should we use it or should we bury it? Mm. You know? So that's the, that's the point of the story. Um, mm. And now, of course, talent doesn't mean a, a way to measure things. Talent means something about you, something that you have, a gift that you have. So I want to talk first about real talents and then imaginary talents, that if we had something. So Barbara, can you name one or two talents that you have? 
Um, I have, I think, I believe a talent for writing that I'm not using at the moment out of fear, Ms. Janae. And as you're talking about this, about how God would like us to use our talents, I'm starting to feel like maybe I don't have to be so fearful. Maybe I can trust that I'm meant to use this talent. Um, so I think I'm going to look at that and think about that a little bit and maybe... Maybe start to write more. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I write uh, what they call monologues. You know, you stand on a stage and you speak. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. so I'm always thinking, oh, who's going to want to hear these monologues? And besides, you know, these monologues are wacky and I don't want to look crazy. But, you know, this is what's in my head. I should be writing it. Exactly. Exactly. It's there for a reason, right? Exactly. How about you, Miss Janae? Uh um, yes, well, like you, I like writing, but even more than that, I like drawing. Um, I've, I've always had artistic skills, but since grade school, I haven't really used it. And a, a big part of it was fear. I felt like I'm not a good enough artist. I don't know much about art. Um, but lately, I bought a big, what did I do? I went to Michael's. I bought a big art book with, a, it's like a workbook to practice in. And I've been learning so much. So that is a, one talent that I I need to, that I am starting to use for the first time in a long time. Um, I'm really excited to be an artist to draw so many things. Nice. Nice, Ms. Janae. Ms. Janae, I also noticed that you um, uh, have a web, uh, um, Instagram uh, account where you talk about uh, meatless meat or, or uh, meat substitutes that are healthy. Right. And you talk, and you talk to us about it and you educate us about it and you're really good at it. So I would like to think, I think that that's one of your talents. It is actually. Um, and I, I've been, Can you hear me? Oh, you froze there for a second. Sorry, sorry. You so you me? said, it is one of my talents, but I've been what? Oh, I've just started recording a podcast. I'm, re I'm posting my first episode today, just by chance that you, you brought this up. And I talk about how to make meat, dairy, and eggs in a new and better way, using plants or cultured technology. It's all about innovation and creativity, because there's a million ways to make burgers and steaks and sausages without animals. You can use so many different plant materials or um, fermentation technology. It's all really cool. So I, I love that. So, so basically you're teaching people how to get their protein and, and feel like you're eating meat without eating animals exactly. and how to eat more plants. Yes. It's healthier for us. It's healthier for the planet. It uses much, much less resources. It's much more sustainable. And it's obviously it's kinder to animals and it just brings out so much creativity in us. I love the innovation that it, it sparks in people. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is one of my talents. Yeah, you're great at it, I have to say. And I would love to see more. Oh, of course. I will send you my podcast link and I'll, I'll have the church post it too. I just, I okay. Love awesome. We'd love to see that. Yay. Awesome. What do we, what, so what's next in this lesson? Yeah, so those are our real talents, right? So there's also imaginary talents. When we imagine things, it helps us to see what is possible beyond what we're even thinking now. So for example, uh, I have a worksheet here that I wrote. Now there's a few questions. It's almost like a craft too. This is a drawing hands-on craft. There's a few questions when uh, we think about it, it could really spark what we can do. So the first question is imagine you have $1 million, what good thing would you do with it? So that's the question I chose. Then the second one says, imagine you are the leader of your country, what good decision would you make? Another one is, imagine you have, you own a whole forest, what good thing could you do with it? That one's amazing, a forest. Wow. <laughs> and the last one is, imagine you could see people, you could see what people needed to help them. How would you use that special gift? Wow. Um, so I chose the first one. Which one would you choose, Barbara? 
I guess that uh, the one that spoke to me was being the leader of a country. Oh, okay, okay. So, so what did you what did you draw on there, Miss Janae? So I drew a, a bunch of hearts with little little dollar tied to them. If you can see that, uh -huh. and that's because I've always wanted to just go around and give people a hundred dollar bill and just to anyone in need. Um, I just feel like there's so many people in a, walking around on the street who really just need extra money, especially around Christmas time. They need some extra money to buy presents or, or just to pay a bill. I would love to hand people money just to brighten their day and show them someone cares and this is for you just as a gift. You don't need to work for it. It's just because you, you deserve it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. I think that if I were the leader, like in answering the question about my talent, if I was the leader of a country, I would implement the food, you know, some of the things you're talking about in the food system, you know, with plant foods and things like that, you know, overall, the whole food system, I'd make sure every community had a garden in it. I'd make sure that everybody who needed to could go see a doctor and get health care. And whoever wanted to, to study and go to college, they could do that with, you know, um, you know, they were able to do that. Um, and I would, uh, I would make sure that the arts are important. Yeah. And I have a bunch more things, but I can't think of them right now. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> One day we'll have Barbara for president. One Barbara day? for president. Yes. I always like there's so many amazing people who I wish would run for president. So that would oh, really be nice, you know, one day. So yes, just like this this title here says, talent possibilities. That that story from Jesus it reminds us we all have hidden talent inside. We all have endless things we can do. This is something God has given to each of us to go out there and use our talents. Why? It's amazing to me that there are so many different abilities in the world. There are people who can sing, people who can write, like you, Barbara, and, and people who can draw, and people who have just insane, infinite talents. It's almost like God did that because there is a purpose for each of us. Like, we all have a special place where we fit in. And it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Yeah. Now, why do you think there are so many different abilities out there? Uh, it's, it's actually, I thought about this in the last couple of days. It's actually a perfect design, isn't it, Miss Janae? Mm -hmm. Uh, you're good at drawing. I might be good at writing. You're good at, at this whole thing with the plant foods. Um, I might be good at communicating. And with all of our talents, we sort of cover all the needs and all the bases for human, um, and development and, and nurturing and growth on our planet and the growth of our, you know, our whole planet as a whole, if we right. use them properly and we, you know, reject fear and embrace our talents. Because a lot of times people don't use their talents, don't use their talents or use them in a way that's not necessarily um, good for the planet as a whole. And they do that because out of fear. They do that because they think they need to have everything for themselves or hoard or uh, hoard power or whatever um, because they don't trust that there's enough that they'll be taken care of. And God tells us we're going to be taken care of. God tells us that he's there for us along the way. That is trusting perfect. is tricky though. Trusting that is tricky. And it takes, for me, it takes a lot of prayer and meditation and, and that type of thing in order to stay close to God. That's really, really nice. Um, and that's actually what our lesson is all about, is rejecting fear and trusting God, trusting love. Yes. Doing it yes. that way. Oh, well, I think that's the perfect way to end this lesson. This is inspiring, and I'm, I hope that people listen to this and think about what they can do. Just think about what you can do. Because it's, we are, none of us are boring. We all have things, special things that we can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Agreed. Is there anything you'd like to add, or are we going to 
No, I think you should close this out in prayer, Ms. Janae. Okay. So I don't have EJ here, unfortunately. You have to go back to his nursery. <laughs> I'll just say, okay. <laughs> uh, but let's close our eyes and take a breath. Uh, dear God, thank you for bringing us into this space together um, where we could talk and commune about these uh, very fascinating topics. Uh, I always learn so much when I'm sitting here with Miss Barbara and, and Mr. David, who's recording. And I, I, I hope that we can talk to each other or find ways to express our individual talents because we all have so much inside that we are capable of. We just have to bring it out. Uh, that's an important lesson to take with us our whole lives. Uh, so maybe you use our talents to help each other and lift each other up. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. It was lovely to hang out with you guys again. Thank you, Miss Janae and EJ and Mr. David. Yeah. Bye. See you next Bye, time. Bye, everyone.